PSC Environmental Health Science. I've received a request to make this video too. Uh, so, uh, we get admission from 200 level. And that's why we got it added into it. That's why um, this course outline center from 200 level. So, we have uh, these courses for 200 level first semester. This is 200 level first semester. The GSTs and all that are up to 31 credit units, even though you are allowed to register a maximum of 24. Currently, you may be allowed to register up to that or more in future to 20, so 30 depends in future, but for now it's 24. So, what you do is take the remaining ones to the future semesters, register 24 now, and then take the remaining ones to the future semester. There will be a leftover or uh, uh, used credit units in some semesters that you can fix them and take them. So we have the cost material phase three units is two five two units and one unit at two thousand. Then the four units and or more will be three thousand. That's the cost of the material. So but then you uh, it's called cost registration in now. So when you register for courses. You also have to register uh, those courses for exams because you receive for the exams. They charge 1000 per course for exams. So you add them together, you get this total here 2000 uh, uh, course registration plus 1000 for exam registration is 3000. 251000 is 3500. And so on. that's how you got this. Then um, you have a total of 18,500. Naira for the first semester because of this first compulsory semester fee of 36,000. From second semester onwards, it will become 18,000 per semester. This compulsory fee becomes 18,000. So let's look at second semester. Here is second semester, 200 level, and these are your classes. Um, you have 20 credit units. So you can bring about four from the previous semester, add them here, making 24. You can tackle up to 24 per semester. So you have a total fee of 46,000. Look at the composite fee, it has become 18, it has reduced to 18, no longer 36. Then that takes us to 300 level first semester. Yeah, things get more serious from here. Then we have 24 of 24. Or you, you have to register all of them and pass all of them with a fee of uh, 52,000. There is no unused credit units where you will add any carryover or any previous uh, as unregistered costs. Same thing to 300 level second semester. Register all, you pass all. Then 400 level first semester. You have these courses 26, though you have to take two to the next semester. Two credits, a course of two credits, units, you take it to the next semester and register it. Uh, with a total of uh, 53,000 naira, you'll be paying for the semester, assuming all 26 are allowed. So if you are removing one course from here, let's say one of these. Then you will be subtracting 3000 from this 53. So you 50,000 can register 24 unit costs for this semester. And then we'll go to 400 level second semester. The only cost here is your IT. So if you would like to include other courses that are left anywhere else, this is a better opportunity to bring all of them here, including your IT. But then you are, according to this poll recommendation, you are supposed to focus on your IT. It's a six credit unit. If you nail it an A, it will boost your GP. So we go to final year. 500 level first semester. And these are your courses. You have 19 of 19. All of them are required. You must pass them. With 44,500 as your fee. And the final semester, you have this course is 21 units. 
which also included your project of five units, 15,000 mile, you can see here, a total of 57,000 naira. We'll help you clear this, Mr. Boromo. You can now see that there's no chance of carry over here. <laughs> if you carry any cause over here, you are coming back the following year. You will not be enjoyable. You are coming back the following year. You pay 18,000 and register whatever cause you feel. There's two courses or three courses. You register them. So at the end of it all, you have carried or registered 172 credit units and you are required to pass at least 170. If you fail one course that is two credit units, it might be waived for you. You will still become a graduate. But uh, anything more than one course might bring you back for a semester. Might bring you back. Depends on how the Senate considers such course you failed. <coughs> so that's it. That's it.